Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how y'all doing? It's your boy Cookie with Cinder Queen. I'm back again with another interesting video. Today I'm taking you straight to the Santi land and preparing fufu with a bunebunum coin. Yeah, green soup. But before you start, if this is your first time watching, kindly subscribe to your YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can have notification anytime new video drops. Wow. Are we are trying to get some uh, fish from the pond, fresh fish again. And uh, they are struggling to get out. <laughs> Fufu is one of the famous, most popular, most loved food in Ghana, especially the Asantis. A real typical Asante man can eat fufu 365 days in a year. <laughs> it's a combination of cassava and plantain. Yeah. To prepare this kind of food, you need fresh ingredients. So we went to the market to get our ingredients for the fufu and the green soup, which is cassava, plantain, the cocoyam leaves, etc. And also our old boy blessed that with some fresh catfish. Yeah? It's going to be crazy and awesome. Wow. I don't know what you 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 know you know and moving forward now we start by putting the vegetable on fire so we wash our pepper and onion and cocoa yam leaves which also called taro leaves or the contemporary leaves we put that on fire then we boil it like seven minutes it shouldn't be cooked that much because it will go inside the boiling water again so if a little bit of seven minutes okay yeah So now we have our cotumbre leaves or the cocoa yam leaves on fire. We now move to our fish and wash them again. This is the second time of washing it. So after five minutes, we check our cotumbre or the cocoa yam leaves. And now we're about to add the tomatoes to it. This is after five minutes, we're adding tomatoes to it. And uh, you need to boil the tomatoes a bit. Okay, so we're adding our tomatoes to the cotumbre or the cocoa yam leaves. Moving forward, we crack the shells to get the snails out of the shells. And also remember that liquid from the snail is beneficial, so you have to keep them and uh, can be used for the cooking. Okay, yeah, so that's how it's done. You take the snails out, then you keep them aside. Yeah, in <laughs> Waba. So we now blend our ginger, garlic, and uh, onions together for our fish. Okay, so we steam our fish with this blended ingredient or seasoning. And uh, we add some spices, some modest spices to it. This is for fish, um, seasoning for fish. So as you can see, it has fish on the label. So we add these spices to it. Then we stir the fish so that all the seasoning or the spices can go well on the, on the fish because it's a fresh fish and it needs good seasoning. We add another seasoning to it because we just want the fish to be tasty, yeah? And also remember or be sure that you stay it well so that all the spice can be in very well. Then you put it on fire for 7 to 10 minutes because you don't need to cook that much. Okay, so back to our snails. Now we add some lemon juice or liquid to the snail to take off the slippery or the sliminess that the snail has. Most people use salt to take off the slimy or the, 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 the slippery thing but it's, it's not sufficient. You need lemon juice to take off um, the slimy that the snail contains. So wash them by rubbing your palm together or your fingers together, yeah, to take off the slimy thing that it contains. To start our soup, we add some beef to it. You can add any bit of your choice. Now we'll add the snails to it. Then we pour the liquid that was shared or that was there from the snow shell. Remember, yeah. We pour that one too on top, it's beneficial. Now we chop in some onion. It can be two, three, depending on the type of onion that you want. We add onions to it. Then we add in some spices. We add some spices to it. Okay, then we keep it aside. Now our fish is ready. It's been like 10 minutes and the fish is ready. So we take it off from fire and put it aside.
moving forward our contemporary is done already so we blend our tomatoes onion pepper together then we pour the blended ingredients or the seasoning on top of our snail and meat then we put on top of fire okay so this is the generation of the of the, of the soup <laughs> so the blender we add some water to the blender we wash it and we pour on top of uh we pour inside the pan we will add the liquid from the cocoa yam leaves as well the one that was boiled we will not pour it away it's beneficial you add that one to inside the soup yeah now we start to blend our contemporary or the cocoa yam leaves in the local blender the sanka yeah we start to blend with the local blender which is a sanka so we blend that with a so we blend that manually So not to waste much time, we will start by peeling off the cassava and the plantain. Yeah, and this is how it's done. So now we've done the contemporary and uh, we, we are taking it back to the soup because that's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> so we pour everything inside the soup. Yeah. So now it's like light soup and the green has come to change everything. Before it was light soup, okay, tomato soup or just light soup. Yeah, so green has changed everything. So you watch your local dish or the sanka. With the water to have the excess of uh, the remaining then you pour everything inside yeah so this is now the green soup that we are we are preparing before it was light and now the green has changed everything which is the cocoa yam leaves i change everything we add a bit of water then we cover it to boil mm. Mm. and there's no way you cook a soup without okra so we have our okra here the okra you can choose to put them straight into the soup or you boil them separately so now here we've added everything inside straight okay so now we're focusing on the cassava and the plantain because now the soup is almost done so we focus on the cassava and the plantain by washing them and uh, arranging them and putting them on fire to boil so you need to arrange the cassava nicely so that it will fit inside the pan or the pot then add some amount of water to it, but be, be careful or be conscious that it doesn't exceed the, the cassava, it should be lower. If not, when it boils, everything will go inside the water. Then you cover it with uh, anything that you have, then you put it on fire. Yeah, so this is how soup, and as you can see, it's boiling. Heavy one, pa. Yeah, so it's time we add in our fish, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Our fish goes in, and uh, that's the, the catfish that was swimming inside the pond. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. So we take everything, then we pour in the, the, the sauce, you know, the sauce from the from the fish, the steamed sauce. We use that one too as well. You remember that we've not added any salt to it because of the spices that we used earlier. And as you can see, we pour in the same spices over here. So you have to be careful with the salt. If you need to taste house cooking if the salt is okay you don't need to add if it's not then you add a bit to it but here we've not added any salt to it because it was okay mm. now our cassava and plantain is okay and uh, we've poured the water away and uh, we've poured in inside a big pan for it to dry a bit then the pounding begins yeah so this is how we pound our fufu plantain first yeah So you now add the plantain that was pounded earlier to it because we believe the cassava alone is not healthy because it's full of starch so the plantain gives iron and uh, it's good so we mix that together <laughs> Yeah, so this is our fufu, yeah, fufu, 
cassava and plantain mixed together yeah this how it's done locally yeah yeah so this half fufu has been divided into two normally that's how it's served and uh inside a sanka yeah the same local blender and uh, now it's being served yeah yeah so this half fufu and uh, the green soup with fresh uh, fish and snow yeah so hope you like the video yeah give a thumbs up <laughs> Yeah, so if today is your first time watching, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that I can get a notification anytime new video drop. Share, leave a comment, tell a friend and tell a brother. Cookie with Sindaku. Yeah, let's meet again. For shizzle, homie. <laughs>